I know that we've talked a lot, me and you personally, over FaceTime, if you will, uh, and this is going back to last season, about what's Ben have left. And this was before we knew that he was coming back for a season. So in your opinion, especially now with a new offensive coordinator, actually having a quarterback coach, a run game, hopefully. Uh, do you think that Ben has enough left in the tank for this team to be a competitive football team slash a uh, Super Bowl contender? Yes. I say that because knowing, un- understanding, watching the first maybe 10 to 11 weeks of the season when they were 11-0 and and the running game was a concern, but it hadn't became a total concern yet. So you're asking a 38-year-old man to throw – 50 times a game after coming off of elbow surgery. Of course, the man's going to have a hard time doing what he has to do. Of course, he's going to have a hard time when, you know, you can't run the damn ball. You can't, you have nothing. And that's another thing, too, is people are so hard on us for, you let go of Pouncey, DeCastro, Filer, Villanueva. Like, but it's like, you understand we were the 28th ranked offensive line or 24th. You, we, we weren't good. Like, so add in some youth. Give this man Najee Harris? Oh, of course. Give him what he needs. This man, he still had, what was it? Was it 32, 33? How many touchdowns? 33. To 10 picks, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're talking shit? To about, but, but, but Justin Herbert had 31 and 10, and he's the, the unanimous rookie of the year. But let Ben throw 33 and 10. Oh, this man fucking sucks. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear shit when he, had, when, let me chill. We had when 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 you couldn't Very run passionate. the damn ball. I think that the big question for me is just going to be how does he fit as a puzzle piece in this Matt Canada offense? But see, that's not that's for Canada to figure out. That's why he's here. You got to build this offense around your quarterback, and that's why I do like you know all these things that we're hearing about Canada as an offensive coordinator. The fact that he's building a different offense around all the quarterbacks. Like, should Rudolph have to play? Should Haskins have to play? Should Dobbs have to play? He's creating an offense for each of these guys to come in and be as successful as they possibly can be. Exactly. And that's why going back to a conversation that we had, you know, before we started recording as far as like Ben now compared to Ben in the 08 season, because I know there's a lot of concerns about the offensive line and obviously didn't have the greatest offensive line back in Ben's younger days. Um, and I think that that's an understatement. I think that at this point in his career, Ben doesn't need to be that same elevator of talent. I don't think he can be that same, same elevator of talent. But there's enough pieces around us when you look at that wide receiver room, when you look at bringing in a first round pick in Najee Harris, that this offense doesn't need Ben to be that guy. They just need him to be, you know, I, I don't want to throw around this this game manager tagline that everybody does when you're talking about a quarterback that just can't reach that highest level of play anymore. But that's kind of what I'll say about Ben is he just needs to be a game manager in an essence for this team to be successful on offense. And you we already kind of touched on the defense. This defense should still be a top three to five unit in the league. If this is an average offense, I mean, this team has no reason not to be right back in the playoff mix. Oh. Yeah, listen, I think you're spot on where I think that Ben towards the end of the season, I mean, he, he was showing a little bit of faults, but I don't think all those faults were his problem because you had terrible offensive coordinator, terrible offensive line. There's just so many things adding up against him. And if you can't run the ball, there's no way you're going to be able to pass the ball effectively either. And I think this season is adding up for a like like I'm not going to say Ben is going to be the MVP of the league by any means. I just don't I don't think he's on that level. But like when you're adding Najee Harris as a running back, when you're adding youth on the offensive line, hopefully it's good. And the new offensive coordinator, I just think you're setting yourself up better than you would have if you would have stuck with the same offensive lineman, same uh, offensive coordinator. I mean, there's just. So many problems but from last year to this year that we're taken care of, or at least we're hoping we're taken care of, mm-hmm. that I just think he's going to be completely different. I don't think he's going to be an amazing quarterback by any means. Like He's not going to be Patrick Mahomes. But I think if, if you get what you did last year, 33 and 10 from him, how, how can anybody complain about that? This man's offensive coordinator was oh, Randy F- Fickner. It was Randy <laughs> Fickner. And that's all I have to say. And think about it like this, too. Go back to the Indianapolis game. Go back to the Indy game where they're down 24 to 7. Bro, they had fourth and goal and didn't get it. And then they have to go back and still try to get points after that. And Ben put was on the money with everything. You gotta understand this. When you can't run the ball, we couldn't run the ball. Ben said, fuck it by third quarter. I'm going to the empty. Chase, you run this. Juju run that. Deontay, uh, McLeod, you know, James. He was just telling them what the fuck to run at that point. Like you can't. 
that's not a successful offense. These are professional NFL defenses. They're going to adjust to what the fuck you're doing, regardless of whatever. So Ben doesn't have to be great. But what I'm expecting from Ben this season is to, like he does every season, shut people the fuck up. Literally. He does that all the time. You want to shit on him for literally throwing almost triple the amount of touchdowns as picks, and he had no line on the running game. You just – people just love to hate on P- – PFF is a fucking trash-ass fucking – I can't stand pro football focus. There we go. They, they, fuck, they fucking suck, okay? They just fucking – I mean, the, fuck your rating system. Do you watch the fucking games? <laughs> Do you watch the games? I mean, people just love to not like Pittsburgh. Because we're so damn great. Have we won a Super Bowl in, in 12 years? No. Have we had a losing season? Also, though, in 18 seasons? No, you can't win the Super Bowl every year. But we're always consistently great. Okay? Just like the New Englands. Just like the Baltimores. Just like the Green Bays. We're consistently always great. And people cannot stand that. So if you want my prediction on what the hell is going to happen this season, we got 17 games now, right? I say mm-hmm. we go 12-5. and five. I say Ben throws – Right under 30 and probably has 10 picks again. Probably. It's actually crazy. Like, he's an awesome person. So humble. Yeah. So like he gives me the best energy. Like honestly. The dude the dude has not played a single snap for the Steelers yet. And I feel like he's been in Pittsburgh for a decade. He and I and he hasn't even played a down for them yet. And I've never had feelings for a man before until him. He's just <laughs> I just, I love him. He just, he, I love Lisa awesome. Najee. 